during the Bible <laughs> Belt. Everybody wants to be like the modern version yeah. of the love story. Yeah. But, but it's nice to know that your family is there and they support it and they've got your back and his back too. That's really special. I love it. It has been very Slow clap for Jack. Yes, Jack! Yes. 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 I want the medium, but I have some pictures actually saved. I want the medium. I want the covered with like white stuff and I want nature because I'm like a nature. Like I love nature. Okay guys, uh, I'm the newest here to Charlotte, three years and freshly Welcome. off the boat. Thank you, thank you. Well, tell me, so Laura, you kind of grew up just right around the corner. What is McCaddenville? <laughs> <laughs> McCaddenville is magical. When you <laughs> it, I mean, it's the experience. It's a lot of hurry up and wait. You're kind of in a line, but the experience, you have to go with people you love. So it's oh. great, we're all oh. perfect. Oh. Oh. But don't you love because it really, it's, it's, um, it's kind of a time commitment a little bit. You're really, um, to see the whole thing, you're going to stop, you're gonna look. But it's so fun and you look around and you just really get in the spirit of Christmas. I remember um, being young and my mom and dad would pile us in our little minivan and um, she would have little um, Christmas snacks like gingerbread cookies and hot chocolate. Aww. And we would wrap up in blankets in the back. My brother and sister and I were in the back. And then we would just look at the Christmas lights. And then um, a, a recent story actually, um, one of my best friends, Paige, lives like a minute from McCattenville. And I was at her house, so she and her brother decided they were going to take me to McCattenville because my family was out of town. We were like, perfect. Well, they thought that we had like um, the, a right amount of time before we needed to leave. We waited in line for about, three, I want to say two, three hours. Oh Got gosh. up to the very front. We were like, yes, we're finally here. And Worth then they were it? like, it's 11 o'clock. Turn the lights off. No. <laughs> Yeah. That's so that was my most recent, was but I know this one will be a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it before 11. Yes, but now Christine knows a lot about the history of McCaddenville. Yeah, this city, um, even though it is technically called McCaddenville, it is also known as Christmas Town, USA. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. I know. Hallmark movie. <laughs> yeah. I just saw an article, you guys, it's in um, North Carolina is the second most Christmas bearded state in no the way. nation. No way. No way. That's beautiful. So it's good we've got a Christmas town, right? <laughs> yeah. But McAdamville is a historic town too because it used to be a mill city. Oh. Um, and their big factory was yarn. And like a lot of mill towns, when we picture them now, we kind of think of these towns that can pick up like hard times, right? And yeah. they're really struggling. But McCaddenville has found a really great way to involve their community while also staying above that kind of mill city slum oh, that we're familiar with. Huh. So in the 40s and 50s, the big um, manufacturer owner family, the Fars, they started to introduce all these new celebrations. Mm. And one of them was the big blue log parade, mm. which for a little while included actually setting logs on fire in public spaces. Nice. We don't do Who that. Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> setting things on fire for fun. They might have learned that the hard way. <laughs> um, and that actually came from England. They went on a trip and they saw this British tradition and they said, let's go back and um, have all of our manufacturers in this town celebrate the Yule Log Parade. And wow. so now we still have that. And then also, Mr. Farr decided it'd be great to start decorating the city mm. with light. Oh. Oh. It was a morale booster. Gotcha. And it was really important <laughs> because it allowed the community to take ownership of something while also being really very cheery, right? These cold months. So we will see primarily, <laughs> we will see primarily red, green, and white light. That's the tradition. Okay. But nowadays, they take several weeks to un unhinge like all the lights wow. from each other. Can you imagine lighting a mile and a half of town wow. with wow. Christmas lights? It's hard it's enough to do. I wonder what their electric bill is. Do they like get a little yeah. like help with that? Yeah, just yeah. hire people. 
I don't know if they hire people. I think it's a community, just like volunteer event. event. Wow. So yeah, so don't hallmark. Don't be right? Don't, yeah. you don't want to light up your house. That's right. <laughs> I was like, what's my electric bill going to be to live here? That's, that's how, exactly how many people right. do you think come here? Um, I would say probably millions. 600 to 750,000 wow. people. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Really? It is. It's great. And it's great publicity for these small towns because they yeah. still exist. They're yeah. still here. And they're doing things really well. Oh, wow. Sometimes better than the big cities, right? Sometimes I want to go <laughs> live in a going. small town. So, yeah, we can out walk City around. girl moves to a small town. <laughs> yeah. McCaddenville, more recently, has um, gotten themselves kind of linked up with the Greenways and oh, the different oh, trails. Oh, that's nice. So now, if you don't get there for Christmas, you can go in the spring. That's awesome. Oh, that's nice. nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So there are hikers out together. Yeah. 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 Created, it's, we're going on over 60 years of this tradition. How long ago was it founded? It was founded in the 50s. No one knows for sure when. The 1950s? There are like, yeah, the 1950s. Um, there are like three different stories that kind of get tossed around. But ultimately, it boils down to the fars. And as legend has it, as part of the morale booster, Mr. Farr himself paid for all the extra electricity bills Aww. so that the town could do it. Joy, that's so nice Grandpa. of you. Thank you, you for family. <laughs> <laughs>
Christmas was always one of those wild cards where, you know, people would ask my mom, like, so how's Christmas looking? And she's like, there's no Christmas. Um, either my dad got laid off or they were just crazy Christmas stories. But one of my favorite, most favorite Christmases were um, one of my mom's friends asked her, like, hey, like, how's Christmas looking? And she was like, honestly, like, Christmas isn't happening this year. My dad just got laid off from his job. And so she's like, we want all of the kids to write down their most favorite like things. So we were like going through the newspaper and like circling stuff, right? And we were just dreaming. Like our, me and my sister used to joke about like, you know, dream big, expect small. Yeah. You know, that was just how we grew up. And, you know, looking back on Christmas's past, it's like, you know what? You pull people's names off trees or you adopt people for Christmas. And like, we were that family. So, we wrote down all of our, you know, favorite things and we were going through the newspaper and, you know, clippings of magazines and all these amazing toys. And so we gave it to my mom. We were like, here's our list, you know, like dream big, kind of expect small. Well, my mom's friend called her and said, get the, get the kids out of the house um, for a couple hours, like we're coming over. So I was like, okay. So we ended up like going to the park or something. We come back um, and, or it was Christmas morning, they had like, uh, entire like moving truck moving truck came to our house and they bought every last thing on our Christmas Aww. list and that was just one of the most amazing Christmases I can remember you know like that makes me just feel like there's so many kids that don't have Christmas and um, I don't know like I just look back and I'm just so grateful for people <laughs> who invested in our family I mean I have you know, my youngest brother dances for the New York City Ballet. I've got a brother in the NFL. Like, from what people see now is what they see now. But, you know, we really struggled growing up. And we were that family that people invested in and oh, gave an opportunity to. And so, like, you got to meet my brother in New York. And, you know, I just look at people, you know, who are like, hey, like, do you have a family that, like, needs help for Christmas? And, like, I've been on the receiving end of Christmas's past. And so, um, so now, like, we joke about, like, you know, you know, we've paid our hoopty dues and I just want a car with four hubcaps and like working air conditioning and you know, the whole nine yards. But Christmas has been, always been a struggle in our family until now we're like, I, I value presents. Yeah. I want your presents more than something that I can open. And that's what means the most to me these days. But now my, bro my brother is in the past, you know, probably five, 10 years, we were like, hey, let's go to the Dollar Tree and yes. they bought a big like sack and they used to call it Shaking Santa's Sack. <laughs> and it was always like gag gifts that I can look back and remember we used to laugh about like, oh, like everyone's got like a little trinket or something and they used to like dress up and be like, we're Shaking Santa's Sack. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it, we've caught it all on camera and it's just been a hilarious, um, you know, piece of our story, but I would say that Christmas where that family adopted us and they bought every last thing on our Christmas list and I'll never forget it.
I'm on a journey and uh, it's very important to surround yourself with like-minded people and to really embrace that. There's a certain level of vulnerability that is required when you, when you take this path. And it's very, very hard to do it alone. So getting in front of people and getting with people who are on the same path as you and who are willing to pour into you and you're willing to pour into them, rising tides rise all ships. I find these retreats to be definitely part of my life. They, I have to come to these to refresh, to rest my soul. Rachel has a very unique way teaching people how to see within themselves and how to dream big and live beyond what you think that you can live. Since society has not really prepared us for this new world that we're living in today, where we have the opportunity to create our own businesses and serve humanity in a way that lights up our soul. I'm in a place in my life where I just feel called to take that next step, spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally. In my professional and personal life, I feel there's always something that you can get out of these experiences and you can learn from. But to be around people who you know and you can see and they're pushing these boundaries and doing all these great things, it pushes you to think further. And so what I want to get out of that is to allow myself to dream bold, be bolder, dream bigger, and then walk into that path instead of thinking this is this is them and this is me. But no, I can be this too and let me blaze my own my own trail. So many entrepreneurs are looking to do just that, but they don't have the path. They don't know the path. They don't necessarily know how to become an influencer who then can go out and make a difference in the world. So they're seeking. What I do and what lights up my soul is to help them become, become mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually um, an influencer so that they can step out into the world with confidence, take their gift, their skill, their craft, their message, and share it with that confidence with the world in a way that will impact and make a difference in the world. If you are ready to elevate your life, contact me to be a part of the next travel adventure. This winter has been so much fun. I mean, we've had such a <laughs> wild winter that we're like, let's go ice skating. It was like, I was sweating Yo, I at the White Water Center. I took my coat off. I have to admit, I was really jealous of y'all and your cute Christmas outfit. Oh. <laughs> but ice skating, that sounds like my perfect And it was like 70 yeah. degrees. Yeah. Was yeah. It was so much fun. So much fun. Like, so this. U.S. National Whitewater Center. I think we're what one Olympians of hang out. Um, <laughs> one of two in the whole country, right? Yeah, I don't know. There's only a couple around the whole country. And um, so, other than what they have hiking, they have uh, cross country whitewater bike, rafting, whitewater rafting, canoeing, kayaking, um, rock zip lining. lining, like so many things to do. Wow. Now this year they put in a skating rink. So on this 13, 1300 acres, I think it was. Um, it started in 2006. Um, have you ever been on the white water raft? Yeah. I don't like to be out here with that. I don't either. But I did have a hair problem. <laughs> I was like, don't touch my hair. And I got a just a real kind of wet. So, uh, I think like where I helped you, like, yeah. Where I helped you, like, all the way yeah. up. Yeah. Oh, that's not so bad. That's not so uh, they built this really cool on like the opening of where you get onto the white water raft. Um, I see. And they have this like little mini bar in the middle where you so get like, yeah. hot chocolate. Yeah. But you can get alcohol too. Yeah. Uh -huh. You have that little Prosecco toast? Yeah, you did. Uh -huh. We did. We did. We did. And wait, check out the video. Wait. Um, <laughs> we got our first Soul Sister squad member that day. Our first Soul Sister squad member. Yep. She's on her video. She's 
She's on our video, so she was so Check excited. Check out the video. Wait, we should watch the video. <laughs> Again, Don't check out the video. The video. <laughs> <laughs> Here's an idea. Ooh, that's a good idea. Check out the video. Oh, she's I'm the first member of the Queen City Soul Sisters Squad. Woo!